We're going to go over how to give lidocaine for a paracentesis. And there are a few different ways that you can do this. Um, in this particular case, what we're going to do is going to be using ultrasound guidance. And then we're actually going to be using our UE needle uh, hooked up to our lidocaine syringe to be giving the lidocaine. And the advantage here is that once we give lidocaine to kind of deeper structures, um, once we get right outside our collection of ascites, we can use the same needle and go in aspirate and then start draining our ascites fluid so it can save a little bit of time to just go directly to the ue needle to give your lidocaine um, this video presumes that you've already kind of marked your spot you've made a skin wheel a dermatotomy um, everything's prepped that also you know if you're doing a diagnostic paracentesis you have empty syringes that you can use to aspirate out fluid to actually uh, send for analysis later on and then if you're going to do a large volume paracentesis you have a vacuum container kind of um, hooked up and you have IV tubing uh, extension tubing that you can use to, you know, in a sterile fashion, hook up to your, um, to your U needle and uh, then start doing a large volume paracentesis. Now, the other important thing is that, you know, hand positioning is very key. So I'll be talking about my hand positioning as I'm gonna, going to be managing kind of using the UE needle here. Um, so we'll just keep this bevel up here. We know that uh, there's no air in the, uh, the needle there. So we're going to quickly scan here and try to find our ascites. We see it right there. Okay, so this is our collection. These are kind of the edges, kind of our distance. We're going about two centimeters. Um, once we kind of have a good trajectory here, um, that looks pretty good. We're going to keep this hand very steady. Then when we grab um, our UE needle and our lidocaine syringe, Actually, what I'm going to do is grab down here near the hub so I have a little bit more control. I'm going to rest my elbow down here on something stable. And then actually, I'm also going to rest my hand here. So now once we kind of have our target, we'll just look back at the screen, make sure that we have the target that we want. We're going to keep everything very, very stable. And then we're not going to focus on the screen. We're just going to make sure that we go in at the right angle here and then We'll go back to our screen now, and then what we can do is slide our hand up here, make sure we find the needle tip, and I'm gonna hold it like this so I can give lidocaine like this, and then I can aspirate by just switching my thumb position. So let's just go back. We have our, our needle tip right there. We see very clearly. We're gonna give lidocaine, give lidocaine, keep giving, keep giving, and then we're just going deeper and deeper. And then now we're right on the edge. We're going to give a lot of generous lidocaine here. And then we're just going to poke through. And we see our needle tip is right in the ascites. And then just take a look at my syringe. I'm going to aspirate. And we see we have a little bit of yellow ascites that came back. Now, um, you know, you can do this under ultrasound. But I'm actually going to drop my ultrasound probe here. And I'm just going to readjust so I can hold my needle very, very steady. I don't want it to move forward or backward because I'm not doing this under image guidance and I don't want to lose access. Then I'm just going to slide the catheter off the needle. Again, keeping the needle stable. And then as I take the needle out, I can bury my sharps. I've covered my catheter so I don't lose um, any ascites or spill it anywhere. Grab our syringe so we can actually take some for diagnostic reasons. We'll just start taking some of the ascites. And here we see we can actually take quite a bit out. Um, and then at this point, you know, take as much as you need for diagnostic reasons um, and fill up the syringes to save them for later. And then when we're done taking what we need for diagnostic reasons, we can hook this up to our IV extension tube tubing. And then what we can do is we're, we're set up to do our large volume paracentesis as well. So um, just a quick overview, if you start with the UE needle for giving lidocaine for the deeper tissues, it sets you up to kind of do everything in one shot like we just showed here.